stung by a bee on my arm. You can tell where it's swollen and red. But I am slightly allergic. <laughs> so, this is a bit scary. Luckily I have Benadryl, so it's fine. Just can't get stung again anytime soon. <laughs> but man, it's itchy. Driving me nuts. <laughs> Part of living out here. You're living with all of the things. So I am just past the town of Chester and about a few hundred yards to my left is uh, one of the old wagon trails, covered wagon trails from the 1800s, which is pretty cool. The little trail marker is giving you information on it and stuff, but really makes you think about it when you're walking through the woods, what it would have been like to actually take a covered wagon. Man, I bet they had some stories. Be cool to hear some of them. I used to love that game Oregon Trail. <laughs> Be fun. <sighs> maybe, maybe I did that in a past life, and that's why I'm so into this. <laughs> Reliving some things. This area is pretty cool. It's like a calm little walk along the top, the top of a tiny mountain. <laughs> All carved out from these bushes. Pretty nice. The clouds are burning off though. <laughs> it's about to be warm again. Zoom in on this guy. Yeah. Check out that big bee's nest. Looks cool. It's a big one. Right next to the trail. <laughs> I don't want to hang out too long because I've already been stung once this week. <laughs> Check out this thing. How blue it is. Pretty cool. Found it on the trail. I think it's the beginning of a pine cone. Probably. <laughs> but I like the color. So blue. So I'm just before the area that you have to have a bear can for. It's about a 19 mile stretch, and I don't have a bear can. So, since I can't camp there, I'm gonna camp right before, and then tomorrow push through that area so that it's not a big deal that I don't have a bear can. But it's pretty early in the afternoon. But I'll still be making camp in about a mile, or maybe sooner. This looks really neat. But I don't have any water. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time moving all my joints. My armpits hurt. <laughs> all because of this bee sting and being allergic. It's like making me feel like I have arthritis everywhere, which really sucks. But I'm doing it, pushing on. I think venom lasts in your system three to three days ish. Bees from the bees, sometimes a little longer. I'm really hoping by tomorrow this is past. Because <laughs> today is the worst. I'm waking up achy is one thing, but when you can hardly like move your joints, gosh. I can imagine dealing with this every day. Okay, so even though my joints are killing me and I feel like I'm about 90 right now, I popped some leave and have decided to push on an extra five miles. There's actually a ranch I'd forgotten about and just noticed on gut hooks that has a hot springs 
And if you buy a meal there, they let you get in the hot springs. And all that sounds wonderful. Plus, I don't need a bear can to stay there. They have like the bear bins and so forth. So I'm gonna shoot for that. Kind of thinking anyway that if I digress, that <laughs> might be best to be around people. So we'll see. I'll just probably sleep a little better that way. So I am going to push on another five miles. I'll probably roll in there if I'm lucky by five, but I'm not moving fast at all because I can hardly do like a full stride. So could be more like six, 530, who knows? Not really a big deal, I'll still have daylight. So that's what I'm going for now. So yeah, that's the plan. Look at this. There's a geyser down here. I'm excited. Wasn't feeling too chipper to come check this out, but then ran into a new friend. This is a machine? Yep. <laughs> and he has to be cool because he's originally from Washington, so. <laughs> Let's check this thing out. I was expecting it to smell worse. Oh, maybe it's just going uphill. We can get closer, can't we? Yes. I didn't even know there was a geyser here. I forgot about this. <laughs> Hot springs. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, that water looks warm. Yeah, it does. Climbing through the lava rocks. This looks like a movie set. <laughs> oh, now I smell the sulfur. Whew. Wow, that's insane. Yep. A lot of people say it smells like hot dogs. I wouldn't say that. Oh, it's like bubbling. Could save some butane. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That really stinks. It smells like boiled eggs. That's what the great salt egg smells like too. Oh man, it's hot too. Oof. The heat this thing's putting off. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wonder if we can see anything yet different from coming up higher. Ooh, the wind changed. I don't know if I want to walk in that cloud. <laughs> there we go. So I think it erupts every now and then too, but. I don't know. That's pretty neat. so hot, I can't even stand to be close to it. Woo! Craziness. Can you imagine coming up on this as an explorer? <laughs> be pretty intense. Cool! Ugh. PCT has so many cool things. And this water over here looks like it's probably at least 90 plus degrees. Sure of it, especially if it's boiling up there. It's steaming. I'm not going to put my finger in it and find out though. Cool. It's, um... 
Salt Lake. Swirling Springs. And the sand is crazy. It's different. It's like orange and red and white. Oh wow, I can hear that thing sizzling. Ooh, that really stings. Yeah, I don't want to go swimming in this one. Pass. <laughs> that is beautiful. Right in front of you. Straight. Sorry, you were like to the left. <laughs> we're heading into Drake's Bad Guest Resort. And there's a deer right there. Look at him, happy and twitchy. Eating some food. I'm right behind you, buddy. I'll be eating some food too in a minute. <laughs> Still feeling really stiff from this bee sting. Mind over matter though, I'm gonna beat it. It's gonna be fine tomorrow. <laughs> and horses. Oh boy. So we are guessing that this is a food spot. <laughs> Looks like it. So dinner is not served to hikers until about 7.15. So going down here to check out this pool area slash bathing area. And I am hobbling my way. Hey, I still did 20 miles today. So it's not slowing me down as much as it could have. But yeah, this is a neat little place out here in the mountains and how about all those geysers and stuff that was so neat little deer out there still I don't see her yeah, let's go check this out because it's apparently connected it has to do with the hot spring as well down here so I don't know if that's the pool or what but I'm going to find out Wear, no pets, no diapers, showers before entering pool, massage by appointment, what, this place is fancy, you get a free shower, oh, it feels so good on my knees and joints right now, I don't know what's going on with me, but this <laughs> is epic, and I'm really happy. And then after I shower, I can go in the hot springs pool. That pool is filled with water out of the hot springs, so it's going to be fantastic. And then they're going to make me dinner. 